sir, uh, this is going to be a video that's going to show you how to extract this pulley off of this uh, distributor motor, or if you had to do the table motor or the sweep motor as well. Got a couple items you're going to need tool-wise. Uh, go ahead and get you like a bolt or something that's going to it's going to match the inside of this head here. You're going to be able to fit it inside there. Uh, probably need a, a ratchet and a socket. It's going to match your your end of your pulley puller. So you want to make sure that that socket is going to fit on the end of that properly. Uh, you need a, an Allen wrench. You've got to back a set screw out. And then you want to have a uh, just a, a, a mallet just to drive the, the pulley back onto the new motor. So the first step you got to do is you got to find a, uh, a set screw. I'm just going to show it to you right here. You're going to find the set screw in that pulley wheel. Take your iron wrench, you want to back that set screw out. Then we're going to take our pulley puller here and get this set up right. And you want to put the uh, point this puller right in the dead center. You may you may have to start it. You may have to start it on uh, these parts right here first because it won't may not fit back in there behind that back spot. Okay, now it's stopped because my threads have bottomed out. That's where this comes into play. I'm going to stick this inside the hole. And that gives you more to pull that pulley out without actually having to beat or bang it to get it off of there. That's how we get the pulley off. Don't want to lose your, your key pin right here. Pay attention to that, that key pin. Now we're just going to reinstall the pulley back onto the motor. You got to line up that, uh, that key pin hole with the key pin on the, on the shaft.
that screw. That's how you swap out the uh, pulley on one of these uh, sweep, distributor, or table motors.